This video will show you how to create an AMQP connection to read from and write messages to the AMQP queues. Advanced Messaging Queuing Protocol or AMQP is a message-oriented standard with queuing, routing, reliability and security features. AMQP is a platform agnostic protocol that allows you to facilitate business transactions by passing real-time data streams. Unlike JMS, which defines an API and a set of behaviors that a messaging implementation must provide, AMQP is a wire-level protocol. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials, click Login, and select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named AMQP Connection. Click New, Connections, and click Create. The connection page opens for editing. This page has two tabs, Properties and Metadata. The Properties tab defines the connection information that needs to be provided to connect to AMQP server. In the Connection Details section, Name specifies a unique name for this connection that identifies it in the Process Designer. We will enter the connection name as AMQP Events. Description is an optional field and specifies a brief description of the connection. Type specifies the type of connection. We'll select AMQP from the drop-down list. Notice that additional tabs like Event Sources and Event Targets appear along with Properties and Metadata. Run On specifies a secure agent where this connection should run. Select the secure agent from the drop-down list. The AMQP connection is not supported for OData. In the Connection Properties section, enter the AMQP broker user credentials here. The virtual host specifies the namespace for the entities and partitions message broker data into distinct sets to which the AMQP protocol refers. Host specifies the host to which the underlying TCP connection is made. We will enter the host name where the AMQP broker like ActiveMQ is running. Also note that the secure agent should be able to connect to this AMQP broker. In this example, both Secure Agent and AMQP Broker are running on the same host. Port specifies the port number to which the underlying TCP connection is made. We'll retain the default port number, which is 5672. Use SSL determines whether to use AMQPS protocol for the connection. We'll retain the default No option. Query parameter specifies parameters that define connection to the servers. We leave this field blank for now. Click Save to save the connection. Click Test to test the connection. The connection test result says Passed. Next, we'll create an event source. Click the Event Sources tab. For each connection you configure, you can add one or more event sources. An event source serves as a start event that listens or monitors a specified queue or a topic for new messages. Click Add Event Source and select AMQP Source from the list. In the Event section, name specifies a unique name for this event source. We'll enter the name as Read Event. Description is an optional field and specifies a brief description of the source event. Enabled, if yes, makes the event source available immediately after it is published, else it will disable the event source until you are ready to use it. In the Properties section, Destination Type specifies the type of channel from where you want to read events. It can be a queue or a topic. Select Queue. Destination specifies the name of the queue from which you want to read events. We'll enter Read Queue. 
Payload format specifies the type of message payload expected on the destination. The various payload formats available are XML, JSON, text and binary. We'll select JSON. Object list field name specifies the process object which conforms to the structure of the message on the queue. Dead letter queue specifies the name of a queue defined in AMQP where the messages that encounter failures are routed. If you wish to set other attributes, you must enter them in the other attributes text box here. We will leave this blank. To create an event target, click the event targets tab. For each connection you define, you can include one or more event targets that specify operation for writing messages or when the event target is called from a process. Click Add Event Target and select AMQP Target from the list. In the Event section, name specifies the unique name for this event target. Enter the name as Write Event. Description is an optional field and specifies a brief description of the target event. In the Properties section, Destination type specifies the type of channel where you want to write messages. This type can be a queue or a topic. We'll select queue. Destination specifies the format of the message that you want to write to the destination. We'll enter write queue. Payload format specifies the format of the message that you want to write to the destination. We'll select JSON. If you wish to set other attributes, you must enter them in the Other Attributes text box here. We will leave this blank. Save the connection. Publish the connection. Click the Metadata tab to see the metadata for this connection. Actions indicates the metadata associated with the write event, which is to write the message to the destination. Objects indicate the metadata associated with the read event, which is to read message from the source and populate this object. This concludes the demonstration on creating a AMQP connection.